Yeah, check with us. Good. I think that I think let's just pray first. We'll pray and then we're gonna get right into it. All right. Good discussion gonna to happen tonight. So let's pray. Father, we want to say thank you so much for the privilege of just being able to communicate like this tonight. I pray for every business represented here that Father, um, I know this is tough times for every single one of us, but um, Lord, in the midst of the storm, you are there with us. And you have the ability to calm the storm. You have the ability and the power to speak to the waves and to the wind and uh, to get us to the other side, the destination that you've called us to go into. So we th say thank you that Jesus, you're on the boat with us. So Lord, we do not have to fear. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Good stuff. So I'm going to just, it's going to be a bit challenging tonight. And so take, just take the challenge. Um, I want to speak about the fact that history uh, shows us over and over again, people that are willing to adapt to change and are willing to change often reap success. Um, I love this quote from John F. Kennedy he says, change is the law of life. Those who look only to the past or the present are certain to miss the future. So I think, I don't have to say and convince you that everything in the last couple of months has changed. If you just look at your own businesses, uh, society, church, lifestyle, I mean, I don't think we've ever seen an abrupt change like we have experienced at this point. But what saddens me is in the business world, and I know it's not amongst us here, but amongst a lot of business people, um, a lot of business owners and entrepreneurs have this mindset that once lockdown is over, everything is just simply going to slot into place and everything is just suddenly going to become as per normal. And um, that, that actually um, scared me a little bit when I realized that that's the mindset of a lot of people. Um, that is not the truth at all. I think when you're in a moment of change, we have to, First of all, acknowledge, uh, and a lot of people are living in a dream world. We cannot afford to dream or another word, sleep, be asleep at this time. We actually got to be wide awake. And what I'm saying is we've got to be wide awake to change and to change. Okay, I hope you got that, right? So we're going to be awake to change and also awake to change. So the world has changed, business has changed. We cannot be the last to change or else our businesses, our churches, our lives are going to seriously get stuck uh, somewhere that we don't want to be stuck. A guy named Jim Ron said these words, your life does not get better by chance. It gets better by change. So a lot of people are depending on a chance, okay? So we just hope the right person's going to come our way. We just hope the right person's going to have the greatest business strategy ever. Um, and the problem with that type of hope, it's not uh, proactive. It's actually reactive. And I want to encourage business people, whoever's going to listen to this, to not wait uh, for things to happen, but to actually make things happen. Um, the reality is, if you look at Jesus on the boat, the storm, the disciples, on the, I mean, Jesus told them, you're going to the other side, you're going to boat, huge storm. And all that they did was react. Go read it carefully if you don't believe me. They reacted. When the storm came, they acted like fishermen, they acted like sailors, they did everything in their own strength until they got to a place where, hey, let's wake up Jesus. And Jesus uh, is not reactive. He is proactive. He gets in, out, of, out of the boat, literally. And he starts to do something that they have never seen before. Uh, in fact, he does something that is a first time for him. If you read the scriptures, he didn't do this before. He spoke to the wind and he spoke to the storm, he spoke to the sea, and he became proactive. And what that led them to do is to overcome a circumstance, overcome a situation, and then reach the destination, the prize, if that makes sense. So I just want to encourage everyone. I don't believe it's time for us to be reactive. We actually got to be proactive. Um, Henry Bergeson wrote this. He said, to, to exist is to change. To change is to mature. To mature is to go on creating oneself endless, endlessly. So if you exist, you're going to exist in change. Um, change causes maturity. And once you become mature, 
um, it creates, it, you, you're creating yourself endlessly. Now, now, those that have been in business for a long time, I'm pretty sure you'll agree with me that your business has had to adapt over time. The only difference between adapting now and adapting in previous, let's use the word adaptions, that's a very bad English word, um, is that all the other times we had adapt, there was a time frame, there was a process. Now the, uh, now the big difference is there is no time frame. It has to happen now. Change has to happen now. There's no time to, to sit and try and strategize. Uh, I mean, it's good to strategize, so, so please don't misinterpret what I'm saying. But we have to be willing to change things now. It does mean you will make mistakes. Um, the reason why you will make mistakes is because this is uncharted territory. No one has ever been here before. Your business, your life, your marriage, our church, every area, we have never been here before. So there's two things that happens when you're in a place where you don't know where you are. Okay, so in other words, you're in a place of being lost. Now, just let's, let's put this from a driving perspective. You're driving somewhere, you get lost. There's two things that you do. Some people just stop and panic and have no idea what direction to go, and they get themselves even more lost. Or you stop, okay, you take advice, you get some form of strategy, you have some form of direction, and you head that way. So I'm just saying you cannot stop. We have to start making decisions. We have to get ourselves out of the mess. Uh, I read this interesting article, five strategies for adapting to change. First, changing your mindset, your power of choice. Okay, so here's the thing. We have to change our mindsets. We have to realize we cannot become reactive. We've got to become proactive. Change. Uh, thinking patterns, decisions is all based on choice. Uh, George Bernard Shaw wrote this, progress is impossible without change. And those who cannot change their minds cannot change anything. So here's the thing. If, we, if we're going to start changing things, we actually it has to start here. I think we're going to start viewing our businesses, life, um, everything in general, um, in a new and fresh way. And we cannot rely on past uh, failures and past successes to get us through because this is very, very different. What I found is, just speaking to a couple of businessmen, is a lot of people are living in their past decisions. Hello, she's so cute. <laughs> so, yeah, we cannot live in our past decisions, you know. We, we need to start creating so in your business world, in your business mindset, start creating things that you see in your mind. Um, it's very, very important that. Got another quote here. I'm just trying to find it. Um, yes. Um, Graham Brown said this, life is about choices. Some we regret, some we're proud of, some will haunt us forever. The message is simply this. We are what we chose to be. Your business is going to be what you choose it to be. So we have to choose the direction our business is going to go in. So we've, we've been, been given some great information. You know, just looking at what Craig shared with us in terms of social media, websites, and all that wonderful advice. Now, you can get all that advice and do absolutely nothing. We can say, I've never had a website in the past. I've never uh, uh, used social media in the past. I've never had a sell things the way people are selling today. So why do I need to do that now? So the reality is we got to start taking the advice and actually start running with it. Second thing in terms of um, embracing change and, and, and um, strategies for adapting to change is this fine meaning in life. Uh, Roy T. Bennett wrote the step out of your comfort zone, comfort zones where we where uh, what's this comfort zones where your unrealized dreams are buried are the enemies of achievement leadership begins with when you step outside of your comfort zone so you know when when craig was talking about uh, social media websites for many of us that's outside of our comfort zone because now he's talking about an area that a lot of us just like i don't know what to do and it's it's almost as if some of these it guys 
hey, Jeff, some of these IT guys have got a different language and we just need the gift of the Holy Spirit to interpret and I don't know. So, so the reality is sometimes people speak above us. Sometimes people speak a different language, but we have to, and I'm going to, if you're in business, all the business guys listening now, we have to get out of our comfort zone. Uh, I'm speaking from a church perspective. I'm not always comfortable with social media. I'm not always comfortable uh, preaching to empty chairs. I'm not comfortable with not having church gathering. I want you to know that I, I flow. I'm at my best when I've got people around me. And to be in isolation, it's absolutely contrary to everything that I am as a person. But I could not stay in that comfort zone. God almost pushed us out. So now we've had to embrace change. We've had to make the changes. We've got to just roll with it. But as a businessman, if you're not willing to embrace the change, if you're not willing to embrace the new, new, um, we're going to get stuck behind. And I don't want to see any of our businessmen getting stuck behind and not progressing uh, any, any going forward. Thirdly, let go of your regrets. Uh, Steve Marboli wrote this. The truth is, unless you let go, unless you forgive yourself, unless you forgive the situation, unless you realize that the situation is over, you will never, ever be able to move forward. So in this time period, I think we need to expect to make some mistakes. Okay? That's risk. If, if you, any person that's ever succeeded in life has taken risks. That's it. But there's two forms of risk. There's a stupid risk and then there is a wise risk. Now, when I'm talking about a stupid risk, it's like someone who gambles. I'm not talking about gambling. I'm not talking about taking a chance. I'm talking about getting all the information that you have and then make a, a decision in your mind to step forward, to draw out of your comfort zone and do something that you have never done before. What that looks like to you as an individual or to you as a business, um, I don't know what that might look like. For someone here, it might be, okay, I maybe need to do a different line. I need to maybe go into a different uh, type of business or a different way of running my business. I don't know what that means. But the reality is that we cannot... Uh, um, if you make one mistake, live in that one mistake. Um, I've, I've met so many people in my life, they've eventually got to a place where they're willing to risk. They've taken their first risk in life, failed and never risked again. Now, history, not just the Bible, history points out that those who have been successful have failed. Come on. Some of you have got great businesses today, but I guarantee you there was failures along the way. And so we forget that. We forget that it's okay to fail. It's okay to make mistakes, but we got to keep on moving forward. I want to encourage you, think out the box. Don't look at the past mistakes. You might say, well, I bought this and it cost me money or I invested here and I lost this and whatever, whatever. Uh, we need to be persistent and always willing to move forward. Number four, write a list of scary things to do. So here's the thing, as business owners, and this is where the discussion will come in a bit later now, I think it's important to dream. It's important to have a vision. Some of those things that you write down might physically, financially, emotionally be impossible for you. So should you not write that down? No, you should write it down. Because the things that are physically, emotionally, and financially impossible for you to do now you write them down as prayer points. God, I need this. I want to do this, but I cannot do it right now. But through your help, through your grace, through your provision, Lord, this can be possible. So yes, even those things that you think are impossible, that cannot happen, write it down. The scarier, the better. But then also write down a list of things that you can do right now. So there are certain things you can do. There are, I mean, just listening to Craig's chat to us, there are, there, I mean, if you don't have all the finances to advertise or go online right now, there is free stuff. There's simple stuff that you can do. So start with what you can do and build yourself up to a place where you start achieving that which you thought is impossible. But write down the scary things and then make a plan to step forward, to step off the boat. Remember, Peter? 
when he was on the water, Jesus called him off the boat. Or should I say he called Jesus and asked if he could come off the boat. Um, I love the fact that Jesus said yes. For some of us, we're too scared to ask God, hey, God, can I? Because we realize very quickly that a lot of times God says yes. Yes, you can. Lord, I want to be a financial uh, uh, support to whoever, the church, wherever. I want to pay all my staff salaries a year up front. Just like how amazing would that be. But here's the thing. Whatever the scary part is, God might just say, yes, you can. And so the reality is that we've got to have that scary list. We've got to have that list out there that determines us and forces us to move forward. So uh, number five, um, stay healthy. So if you want to embrace change, stay healthy. Now, what I mean by that is health is in all forms, physical, physical health. I can tell you what, who, who cares if your business is successful and you're lying in ICU on a ventilator, okay? Who cares? Not going to help you much, okay? Uh, who cares if you have a business that's suddenly making millions of rands, but you are in a, an emotional state where you have no joy in your life. All you live is in fear. I hope you're catching the point here. We got to stay healthy. We actually got to make sure that physically we stay healthy, emotionally we stay healthy. And there's certain things we don't have time because I want to enter into discussion. There's certain things that we, we got to continue to do while we're striving in our business. That means stay family focused, stay family centered, stay emotionally centered in God's will and plan and purpose for your life. Physically, take a walk. You know, I, I've just, one thing I've appreciated is that. Um, when I had my normal church day, I'd sit in front of the computer for large quantities of time. Some of you do exactly the same thing. Um, what a privilege it is now to go for walks, um, to uh, be with my family when I walk, et cetera, et cetera. There's a lot of different blessings that's come out of this, and we need to make sure that carries on with us. So guys, short and sweet. It's only 20, I think I spoke for about 15 minutes, but I want to start a discussion. I want us to discuss some of the points that we've just dis that we've just discussed and the first thing i'd like to ask is maybe someone will help me with this in your business what what is it right now okay that needs to change and maybe you don't know how to bring about the change the beauty of this forum is that there's a lot of expertise here there's a lot of people that can give some great advice more than i could ever uh, some businesses are on a larger scale, smaller scale, so there's a better understanding. So if you look at your business right now, it might be handicapped, it might be limping. Um, I don't know where it is now, but if you can help me, maybe we can, maybe we can help someone here tonight. If, they, if you can think of just one thing that needs to change in your business right now, what would that be? Okay, so the forum's open. You can unmute yourself, jump in 